Hi, today I would like to show you how you can use your LinkedIn profile when you're looking for a job and I'm going to share with you my five amazing tips as an ex-LinkedIn employee. Let's get started. Welcome. If it's your first time in my channel, welcome to my channel. In this channel, I cover career tips, best practices and best practice on LinkedIn for personal profile and company profile. So if you want to know more, you can check out my other videos as well. But today I want to show you five important tips that you can actually apply and that's really going to help you to find the dream job that you're looking for. So let's start with the first one. Under your private settings, there's one section that you should definitely activate. That's called Open Candidate. So Open Candidate is a section where you can secretly let recruiters know that you're looking for a job. You have multiple options when you're looking for a job. One, you can make a post and announce that you're looking for a job and let your network know. But if you don't want your network know that you're looking for a job, but you still want to signal the recruiters, there's a section that LinkedIn built in in your profile and you can actually activate that. So let me show you where you can find this. When you come to your LinkedIn profile at the top right corner, you're going to see your little photo. So click on that little photo and you're going to see some privacy and settings. When you come to the privacy and settings, you're going to see the job section right under that. And in that section, there's a place we call it the LinkedIn calls it as let recruiters know that you're looking for a job. When you toggle that on, you're going to be letting your recruiters know and the people who are like looking for candidates that they can actually see your profile and they can see that you're looking for a job. This doesn't notify your network, but this also notifies recruiters who are using the LinkedIn platform to find some candidates. So it's an amazing secret tool that most people don't know. Again, it's called Open Candidate. Second tip that I want to share with you is a skills section. The skills section is really, really important because it includes keywords for a LinkedIn profile. Profile. When recruiters are looking for candidates, they don't know your name and your last name. So there's no way for them to search you if they don't know you. But the way that they can actually find you is based location and the skills. Updating your skills section is extremely crucial. So do your best to update them. So you might be asking yourself, how am I going to update my skills section? Because I really don't know if I should put that keyword or not. So here's the tip for you. The way that you can actually do is basically go and look for the jobs. Go and look for the qualifications and descriptions and look for the keywords and take those keywords and put it to your LinkedIn profile. Let's say if you are an art director and if you know certain programs and projects that you have done and if you know like certain languages as a computer engineer, definitely put those like keywords to your skill section. That's going to make your profile more findable. And don't forget to check your privacy settings because in your privacy settings, if you're restricting your privacy section of your LinkedIn profile, it's hard for recruiters to find you. You can definitely change your privacy settings under the privacy section of your LinkedIn profile. The last two tips. The other one that I want to share with you is a summary section. Summary section is the elevator pitch that you'll be creating for your own profile. So if you're just looking for a job and you're optimizing your LinkedIn profile, I highly recommend you as an ex LinkedIn employee not to skip the summary section. Summary section should be very brief. The way that you can actually use a summary section is you can make it like a couple sentences, very brief, your objective that you can think of on your resume or in bullet points. What are the things you are looking for and what are the things you can offer for a company that you want to work for? Definitely include your summary section and make your LinkedIn profile, as they call it, all stars. When you complete every single section in LinkedIn profile, your profile is going to be all stars and it will be more findable for the recruiters when they are looking for candidates like you. And the last step the headline. It's one of the most important pieces because when people are looking for candidates right under your name, that's where they're going to see your picture, your name and the headline. So if you're looking for a job and if it's okay for you to announce your network that you're looking for a job, you can change your headline right there because headline is the first thing that most people are seeing. So to summarize, don't forget to turn on your open candidate section. Two, don't forget to update your skills section and you can update keywords up to 50. Don't forget to include your summary. And the last one, don't forget to include your headline. If you want to know more about career tips and tricks and using LinkedIn more effectively, you can check out my other videos as well. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now.